Hey guys, so uh, I just want to make a video here of how to calculate um, calibrated airspeed with your E6B. Um, I'm studying for my instrument training right now, so I was just going through some of the questions here and I got to the calibrated airspeed questions and I was having some trouble trying to figure out how they got the answers um, using the E6B and how to just basically how to do it, you know, how to solve the equation. And so I went online and I was looking for some videos on how to do it and I didn't find anything and uh, so if you don't know already how to do this um, hopefully this video helps you so uh, the first question here is uh, what calibrated airspeed must be used to maintain the file true airspeed at the flight planned altitude if the outside air temperature is plus 8 degrees Celsius so they say use uh, figure 32 on page 2 8 so we're going to go ahead and go to page 2.8 here. Um, so you got to have three things to be able to calculate cal calculated air speed. So the, th the three things you have to have is you're going to have to have your cruising altitude. So if we go over here to 2.8, our cruising altitude is 8,000 feet. We're also going to need our true air speed, which is 180 knots. And then we'll need the temperature, which they gave uh, gave to us on on the other uh, page here so we'll go back which was plus 8 degrees Celsius which is our temp so how we go ahead and calculate our calculated airspeed here is we're gonna pull up our E6B now so what you want to do is you have your pressure altitude window here and right above it is the temperature so what you want to do is you want to get your pressure altitude opposite of your temperature so you want to line them up so we're going to go in here we're going to start at zero and I'm going to work my way up for you guys so here's the zero degrees Celsius we're going to start at zero degrees Celsius so we're just zero and we're going to start at zero thousand feet so what we want to do is we want to line up um, our pressure altitude with our temperature so this is our pressure altitude window and our temperature right above it here so we want to go ahead and uh, make those two opposite of each other. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to start at zero, zero. So I have the zero temperature and the zero altitude on together there. And what we're going to do is our temp our, our altitude is 8,000 feet, so we're going to work up to 8,000. So here we go. We're going to move our temperature zero above the thousands down. So we're going to go 1,000, 2,000, 3,000. 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, 7,000, 8,000. So now we're at 8,000 feet pressure altitude and we're at 0 degrees Celsius. So now we need to go ahead and put our 8 degrees Celsius over the 8,000. So here's our 0 here. Here's our 5 degree mark, here's our 10 degree mark, our 15, our 20, our 25, our 30, our 35, our 40, our 45, and our 50, plus 50 degrees Celsius. So we're plus 8 degrees, so we're going to go, there's 5, and it's just going to be just past that line, just past that first little line there. So we're going to go ahead and move that little line to our 8,000. So now we're at 8,000 plus 5, and then we got to turn it just a little bit more to get our 8. we got to be pretty precise very little movement here so we'll say that's our 8,000 feet right there or sorry our 8,000 feet with 8 plus 8 degrees Celsius and then alright so then after you align your altitude opposite of your temperature you're gonna go ahead and now you use your true airspeed you're gonna find your true airspeed on the outer scale here because right now we're working on the inner inner circle here now we go to go on the outer circle to find our true airspeed so we're going to leave this where it's at, and we're going to go ahead and find our true airspeed, which is 180. So 180, um, we'll just we're going to count that as 180. We should pretend there's a zero at the end there. 180. We're going to come down to where we hit the inner circle here. So we have 152, 154, 156, 158, and 160 here. So we're going to go backwards here. So there's 160. We're at 158. We're not quite 158, but we're at 157. 
So we're at 157 there. So we take our 180, come down, where does it hit on this inner circle? It's at 157. So our calibrated airspeed is 157 knots. And let's go ahead and make sure our answer is correct here. So what calibrated airspeed must be used to maintain the filed true airspeed of 180 knots at the flight plant altitude, which is 8,000 feet, if the outside air temperature is plus 8 degrees Celsius? The answer would be B, 157. So we'll go over here. The answer is B. All right, guys. So uh, I hope this helps you out. Um, I was looking on how to figure this out myself, and then I finally figured it out. I thought I'd share it with you guys because I don't see much out there uh, on uh, calibrated airspeed. So uh, I hope this helps you guys out. Um, if you liked what you saw here, go ahead and uh, subscribe to my channel, and I got more aviation videos coming up here uh, shortly. Thanks, guys.